incredible to think this is just one house. I can't wait to get in there. Look at it. Look at that window. It just goes forever. It's so grand. I love the unorthodox wrought iron with the block wall combo. It just seems so grand. We are at Parade Home number five. This builder, is, this home was built by R.L. Wayman. We absolutely love his builds and we can't wait to show you the inside. Let me share the stats with you on this home. This home is priced at 5 million. Well, this home is sold, but it was priced at 5 million and without the lot, it was 3 million, 800,000. So the lots here are pretty expensive. Um, the total living space is 11,041 total square feet. This home offers six bedrooms, eight bathrooms. It's a two-story home and offers a four-car garage. Look how grand and beautiful. Like, look at this driveway. This it's is impressive. beautiful. What do you think? I That's can't wait to- a lot of concrete. We're out in Washington, just about, about a five minute drive into St. George. So you're in some of the best school districts out here and it's a beautiful- Surrounded by other massive houses. Massive houses. What did I say? 11,000 square feet? 11,041 total square feet. Well, let's go get lost in this let's house. Let's go get lost. This is a proper entry rug. Look at this mirror. I love it. This is my favorite color of flooring. Like currently, I know things are constantly changing, so I'm I'm loving this. And we've got this, look at this whole entryway and the, the wooden beams that match going up. The door matches this floating shelf as you walk in. And it's cool that it kind of flows onto this mirror accent. Got your piano room, sitting room. I love the artwork in here. That is a very grand piano room, I might add. Show ceilings are massive. And there is a glass detail on the other side, but just go through it in order. I'll, yeah, I'll this, follow you. I love that this builder goes over the top. I mean, he, he can build anything that you want, but this is this is absolutely this is our beautiful. Thing. I love this. Cute. Check him out. Got a formal dining room. Beautiful lighting. This wooden table. You can see the backyard. I I mean, look at the windows everywhere in this house. Lots of natural lighting to take in these beautiful views. That fireplace is beautiful. This is the grandest of all living rooms. Got the wooden beam accent on the ceiling. I don't even know how tall these ceilings are, but the well, windows that 30, run. 30, maybe 30 feet. Yeah. Probably the biggest kitchen island I've ever seen. Is it heated? It's hot. Well, I would say everything is size appropriate for the total square footage of the house. You have to have a center island that's like three car lengths. And the lighting in here, how beautiful. Look at that cooktop. It has a very good looking range. Yeah. Has somewhat of a retro flavor, but look at the look at the hood range or the hood range is the, the hood vent above that range. Kind of it, it, it ties matches with the, the fireplace. massive fireplace. And the fireplace, look how open it is. I feel I feel teeny in here. Like you are teeny. everything. Like this They're smaller than that pot. Like everything. Oh, they've got the um They're all up shades? Yeah, they're all tucked up in there. Everything is so massive. I, I feel so stupid. Yeah, look, look at those roll up shades. That's easily 30 feet. How come our blinds guy told us that he couldn't do like pan at our house? We're going to have to figure that out because we're going to have to have a talk because that's solid. Well, it's 30 feet. I'm sure that everything in here is custom. Follow the crab, Terry. We'll have a talk later. <laughs> oh, that takes you into the butler's pantry. I think you can access it maybe over here as well. So Butler's Kitchen. I want a picture of it. Look how the elegant staircase that goes up. 
But look at how big that light is. My goodness. It is massive. Okay, here is some put It's very fancy. massive, very copper. You can access this way or you can access through these doors. So you access the kitchen or the dining area rather. You know, I just have to carry around a ladder everywhere in this house, anywhere I go. This is a, a butler pantry. Cute. I love all the all the dog portraits today. Oh, it just keeps going. My goodness. And that's with pants. That's, a, that's actually a great way to use that under the stair space because the kids snacks go back there's there. a staircase up above us that wraps all around this area. And usually it's dead space, but not this house. Beautiful laundry room. It's a proper laundry room. I'm loving the the gray color on the cabinetry. I would say this laundry room is about the size of your average living room. Oh, for sure. We're getting lost. We got pocket doors that shut that off. Oh. This will all make sense once once I walk you guys through this. Got a drinking fountain. So here, let's make sense of this layout in reverse. We're at the very front of the house, and this is your gym, the the owner's gym, right? Mm -hmm. So that it's attached, not really attached. I mean, there's this really massive hallway that takes you first into the laundry room, mm -hmm. then into the owner's closet, owner's dressing. Oh, swish. There are windows. They're really, really high up. This home has super tall ceilings throughout this entire property. Got it. Mirror that hides a safe that looks like you go into. It's actually a Look, gun room. This is probably that one. Very substantial. That's awesome. As it should be. Love the lighting in here. So from the owner's suite, you have access to all of this. Literally, you can exit to the side door. Oh. Beautiful views of the backyard. Wow. Oh, oh, and uh, there's a remote for this glass. That's so good. Cool. Yeah, it goes with transparent to that. Love it. Thank you so much for demonstrating that. I love how this hallway gives you even more separation from the rest of the living space. This will take us out to the garage. Take a look at this mudroom. This has been kind of a, a trend for colors. So the light oak cabinets, I've seen a lot of nice. I actually really like it. John Farrard behind it. We'll wrap around and then we'll go outside. I act as if I know where I'm going. <laughs> nice built in. The navy blue room. Oh, the navy blue really does it for me. I'm loving that. I absolutely love the navy blue ceilings, baseboards, everything. It just looks so good in this flat finish. Like a, yeah, a flat matte navy, navy blue. And this ensuite has a beautiful floating vanity heated floors and especially during the parade it's hard it's one of those things it's like hard to notice but as you walk around it's about 55 degrees outside right now but your feet do get really cold the concrete so i'm enjoying this right now come on in you have to experience this for yourself with sean oh this feels great i love all of the integrated drains and the floor to ceiling tile i mean you wouldn't expect anything else but Thank you, it still looks so good. Sorry. I think from here we can go outside. Look at the size of this barbecue. It is massive and appropriate for the size of the house. I have a pizza oven directly across. The sauna. 
So then from the sauna, you go into this cool bath. It's pretty cool art. And this has got to be one of the coolest home theater, pool theater rooms. Look at this. So you've got an indoor outdoor space that lets you use this as a home theater. And also I would imagine, you know, you could have a, a pool party and watch a movie at the same time. There's another screen that drops out on this side. Adam Sandler, go to your home. That's what he's saying so, right now. <laughs> look, you, you have several, you have a screen and the two, uh, two blackout screens. Loving the artwork in here. This is the best. I love this outdoor space. Look at the size of this lot. It's hard to believe that there's still what? enough space to put another home side back there. The property just goes back there. I think it's over an acre actually. Okay, that makes sense on the price. So there's an upstairs office here. Watch your step on these concrete stairs. What do you think about the concrete walls? Pretty industrial looking, huh? So cool. And of course, if you needed a laundry set in the office, there's another little study area. And this, this is perfect. Black leather finished countertops, black cabinets, Concrete tile looking floor, which is also it. Black walls. Look at the tile in this shower. I am absolutely blown away by all the beautiful showers that we have seen, but nothing looks better than black on black on black. I agree. It's tough to appreciate the magnitude of this property through the video. You kind of have to be here yourself to to really tell how huge it is. Let's go check out the, the backyard and pool area. He always does the coolest pool with fire. I love it. Oh yeah. Look at the fire feature right, right in the ground. My goodness, I might step on that. Oh, I forgot to get the, the cold pizza. Pizza. Yeah, I was, I was telling you earlier, there's a pizza oven directly across Chris, from like the barbecue and the kitchen. smoker. That's your third kitchen in this, no, not, not a third one. One of the many, actually. And you have another smoker up here. Wow. A built-in smoker. That is so cool. Oh. A triple built-in smoker. See that from the dining room, the water feature, fire, and look at this cool little waterfall that That's goes sweet. to that water feature. Go walk across. Definitely the coolest pool that we've seen this parade. Okay, let's go explore upstairs. This entire area can be screened in too. Oh 
my God, I should have worn my jacket. I got a jacket. It matches that your jacket. It matches this perfectly. It kind of matches perfect. your colors now too. <laughs> Of a bathroom. I love this gray tile. The shower heads or the handles over here. How do you feel about this rug? I feel really good about this whole. Do you feel, do you feel right at home in this little area? Yeah. Who's just calling my name to just kind of come snuggle I up can't and read a book? You kind of blend right in. Shoot. <laughs> oh my gosh, how cute is this room? That's so cool. I, I look at that mirror. I love it. Cute. And these little X's in this tile. Feels good. Standalone tub. Good size closet. Huge water closet. That looks so good. Yeah. bathroom in the shower kind of a cool um look with having this bath accessible right from the bedroom so the other side is all white accents mm -hmm. this side is all black accents everything just ties together the opposite perfectly. of the other That's it, right? I think that's it. Beautifully done. Folks, as every parade, I would highly, highly recommend checking out Carl Wayman's builds because they're absolutely sure to impress. Every single year, Rob builds the absolute nicest over the top homes and this one I feel like the the bar set so high and it blows my mind that every year they manage to inch it up just a little more and the sheer size of this property but also the quality is absolutely superb this backyard blew us away we're curious to know how do you feel about this style of homes is that enough square footage would you like for it to be bigger are you in line with the smaller homes Give this video a like if you enjoyed this footage. Give it a thumbs down if it took too long or if you have any other reasons, but do us a favor and let us know why you didn't like it and what could we do better. If you're even remotely considering moving to Southern Utah, please reach out to us. Our contact information is in the description below this video. And we have an incredible relationship with most of the builders that you see in a parade. If you're thinking about building something custom, give us a call and we could get the ball rolling.